welcome back students in this video i'm going to cover one more problem related to the concept of plane scales engineering graphics course the question is like construct a scale to measure up to 50 meter if one centimeter represents four meter please do concentrate here one centimeter represents four meter find its rf and mark a distance of 24 meter and 38 meter on it here if you look at the earlier question which i have posted uh to before to this video uh they, the directly rf is given but whereas in this problem rf is missing so as i told you in the earlier video that if rf is missing we are supposed to work out first the rf rf is nothing but representative factor or the scale factor how it is defined it is defined as the ratio of length of the drawing to the original length of the drawing if you look here the question if one centimeter represents four meter I mean one centimeter is nothing but the length of the scale and it is representing on a four meter scale so as four meter is nothing but the the maximum distance or the actual distance on the drawing so what I can do here is so one centimeter by four centimeter one centimeter by four meter so this is nothing but one by four into hundred so this equals to 1 by 400 dear students this is nothing but the rf of the given scale rf of the given scale to be found out like this if it is not given in the problem so the next thing what you are supposed to do is what is the maximum distance or if you look at here the maximum it's the scale to measure up to 50 meter so that is nothing but the maximum distance where it can measure is 250 meter this is the maximum distance of the scale so as i cannot plot a scale of 50 meter on my drawing sheet so i am going to reduce it by working out the length of the scale i know length of the scale is nothing but rf this rf into the maximum distance the length of the scale is nothing but the rf into maximum distance i have calculated already rf so rf is equals to 1 upon 400 into this maximum distance is 50 meter as my scale is of centimeter scale or a millimeter scale i need to convert this 50 meter to the centimeter so i am going to convert to centimeter multiplying it so finally the value will be after calculation that will be 12.5 centimeter dear students this is nothing but the length of the scale which i can plot using this plane scale a 12.5 centimeter line later i told you to look at the units so what are the units of the scale and from the units we can work out it belongs to whether a plane scale or a diagonal scale now if you look at the question construct a scale to measure up to 50 meter is nothing but the maximum distance and if one centimeter represent four meter is to work out the rf and find the rf and mark a distance of 24 meter and 38 meter by looking at the marking distance you can identify sometimes stating that 24 meter and 38 meter it is all about only meter dear students you can see only one unit in the drawing question paper that is all about only meter as i was explained to you in the yesterday's video a plane scale is a scale which can read maximum up to two units or a one unit so hence the given problem is all about the plane scale as it is a one unit only here which we are supposed to represent on the scale later what are what are the marking distance given so we have they were given two marking distance here on the scale so what are those 24 meter as well as and 38 meter these are the two marking distance which are given in your drawing question paper so this is how you are supposed to work out when the problem is asked to work out the uh, question without giving what type of scale it is and if rf is missing you are supposed to calculate like this these are the points the first and foremost thing is rf later what is the maximum distance given from the maximum distance you are supposed to work out the length of the scale that is nothing but rf into maximum distance later converting it into the centimeter or millimeter and what are the different units given by looking at the units we can specify it belongs to a plane scale or a diagonal scale and what are the different marking distance what we are going to do here is we are supposed to take the scale and mark 
a distance of 12.5 cm on your drawing sheet isn't it 12.5 12.5 is still here isn't it dear students so i am working out for you a rough sketch here please do concentrate and you are supposed to work out using the instruments so this is nothing but 12.5 cm on your drawing sheet and as i told to give a look of a scale we are supposed to take the width of 10 mm and work out a triangle to give a look and impression of a scale now this ab is nothing but 12.5 now to what is the distance it is going to measure is all about measures up to 50 meter so 12 on 12.5 centimeter scale i need to represent a 50 meter scale on it so how can i do that is that i am going to divide the scale into five equal division stating each division is of 10 meter so this 12.5 12.5 when divided with 5 that gives to 2.5 so each unit is each division scale is of 2.5 so take your scale and measure 2.5 on this i am working out for your rough sketch here so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so as i told the first division you are supposed to mark is 0 and this is nothing but 10 meter 20 meter 30 meter and here it is 40 meter and this is c d let it be or 40 meter and this is nothing but a meter scale the main unit or of the scale here is a meter scale isn't it dear students now if you look at the marking distance it is not just 20 meter or 40 meter it is given as 24 meter but whereas on a plane scale we can directly go with the subdivisions into it which i am going to take this 10 units of millimeter on to the left of the zero we are supposed to represent the secondary scale or the subdivision of the scale to the left of the zero so i am going to divide this zero to ten let it be into ten equal divisions so this is how much dear students 2.5 so you can go with division of a line method concept and divide it into five with ten equal divisions as i am working for you rough here please try to understand so the fifth division i'm marking here so let this be one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. You are supposed to follow division of a line method and the last line to be joined to this. So draw all the parallel lines and project them down. So this is how you are supposed to work out. And this is also nothing but what? How 24 can be written here now is 20 meter plus 4 meter on my drawing of the scale. Isn't it? 20 meter and 40 meter. And what is the one more unit that is 38 meter how this 38 meter can be written 30 meter on the main scale plus 8 meter on the secondary primary secondary scale or the subdivision unit so this can be worked out like this the marking distance for that reason we are supposed to divide this scale into two segments one is the primary and the other is the secondary or the subdivision so if you look here this scale from 0 to b is also a meter scale and 0 to 10 is also nothing but a meter and do not forget to write rf of the scale exactly center of this so that is given as 1 upon 400 i hope you are getting the concept if not you go through the earlier video which i have posted now we after marking this why i need to take 50 meter dear students here the maximum distance a scale can measure is up to 50 meter only that's the reason we are supposed to mark locate this distance of 50 this is 40 and including this box this is 50 meter but whereas from 0 to 40 i'm taking it as a main scale and this is nothing but the secondary scale or the subdivision unit now look at the marking distance can we mark we can mark so easily that 24 meter is nothing but 20 is taken from this main scale and 4 is being taken from the secondary scale so like this you can work out 24 meter on this plane scale so this is nothing but 24 meter dear students now later the next is 38 i can take 30 from the main scale here a projector and 8 from a secondary scale division so you can get 38 from this on a 50 meter scale i can locate 38 meter likewise so 30 from this and 8 from this and write exactly center of the scale and 38 meter 
This is how you are supposed to work out when a scale problem is given and you are supposed to identify whether the given scale is a plane scale or a diagonal scale depending on the types and how many number of units are given in the problem. Hope you are liking my videos. For more videos, please do subscribe to my channel as well as share this content with your friends which may help them too. Good luck and God bless you all.